Ben Saxby. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In rural Britain, strikes have a disproportionate impact where there are not other modes of public transport. The nearest alternative hospital may be 60 plus miles away, and ambulances have already travelled far further to get there, not to mention vacancy rates in public services are so high due to our housing crisis. Can my right honourable friend confirm how these measures will help support rural communities? Well, my friend is absolutely right. These, these so-called forever strikes, which have continued for month after month on the, on the railways, um, are particularly hurting the rural communities. It's very easy, I think, sometimes for people to imagine that people will just sit at their home, they'll be on Zoom, they'll be on Teams, they'll have those conversations. It's a view of the world which is much easier if you are at a desk job, perhaps in management, much harder if you're in a rural community, if you are the hospital porter who needs to get to the hospital, if you're a cleaner. The very people who are being hurt most by these strikes, which never seem to come to a conclusion on the railways, are the hardest up in society, and this government will stand behind them with minimum service levels.